What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. I, I don't know, I have to get used to saying that uh, because uh, Scarlet and Violet drops in a little over a month, November 17th I believe, so yeah, we got like six weeks until that happens, it's actually coming up pretty soon, uh, but yeah, today what I want to do is something that honestly a, a normal YouTuber would have done months ago, uh, but I'm not normal, I'm a genetic freak, and uh, I'm actually going to finally be giving my thoughts on a bunch of these new Pokemon, uh, but yeah, I, I, this was sort of the plan from the beginning, um, I was going to give my thoughts on everything all at once, uh, because now that the game's only about a month away, I, I figured we'd pretty much gotten the news on everything so far, uh, and yeah, like I don't think they're going to announce too many more new Pokemon, we'll probably get like two or three at most, but I figured this would be a good time. So yeah, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon content and answer my comment question of the day. Which of these Pokemon do you think will be the best in competitive? Uh, just, just off of like your first impression, like what do you think it's going to be? Anyways, yeah, uh, I think for the most part, we're just going to skip over the starters. I'm pretty sure I already did those, uh, but uh, I, I guess we'll just do a quick one. Um, I like it. I love it. Eh. Alright, alright. So, Coridon and Miridon, I know I also covered those two, so we'll do them a little bit more quickly. Uh, so, Coridon is, I believe, a... Well, it's it's not confirmed, but a lot of the leaks are saying this one's a fighting dragon type and this one is an electric dragon type. Just going off of, like, previous dragon mons that we've had. First of all, actually, wait, let's, let's look at this. So, if we look at Uber Pokemon, um... A lot of the restricteds that we've had before were dragon type, uh, so it's not like we're we're starving for dragon type restricteds to use in uh, GS Cup formats or restricted Pokemon formats. Uh, so I don't know how in demand these guys are going to be. It's going to depend heavily on their abilities and maybe like an exclusive move. That's what's going to separate them from the rest of the pack. And also, I think it's safe to assume these guys are going to be relatively fast considering they're basically motorcycles. Uh, so. I guess the best thing to compare Coridon to is going to be uh, Kamoa, because it's like the only other fighting dragon type we have, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Oh yeah, I forgot about Hakamoa. No, alright. So Kamoa, right? Kamoa is a Pokemon that has seen heavy usage in a couple of formats. Uh, we see it a little bit right now in Spike Myth Cup, which is an unofficial format as like an Iron Defense Body Press user. So I suppose if, if Coridon gets access to Iron Defense Body Press and it has better stats than Kamoa, it could do that. Uh, but I would imagine it's actually going to be a faster, more offensive Pokemon. Uh, Kamoa's highest stat is its defense. So I guess if this thing got like, let's say 110 speed, which is actually really fast for restricted Pokemon, if you actually look at them, um, like the fastest restricted Pokemon that we have is Calyrex Shadow followed by Zacian and then like Mewtwo and Zamazenta and that sort of thing. So uh, for the most part, they're actually hanging out around like the 90 speed tier. Uh, stuff like, where are you? Like Eveltal, Xerneas, Rayquaza, Zygarde, ho -Oh. Like it's, it's a really crowded speed tier between 90 and 100. So if this thing manages to be faster than like Xerneas, if this thing has like base 100, 110 speed, uh, it actually can be a pretty decent Pokemon as long as it has like steel or poison coverage, which for the most part, fighting type Pokemon get those. So yeah, uh, I think it's going to be fairly okay. I mean, obviously fairies absolutely annihilated, flying types absolutely annihilated. Uh, but if it has a enough bulk and enough speed, it's going to be fine. Miraidon. Uh, is rumored to be Electric Dragon, which I can get behind. I think Steel Dragon would be better for it, but it's it's pretty clearly electric in my opinion. Um, and of course, it's like based off of like electric motorcycles. Uh, but as far as Electric Dragons go, there is only one other one as well, uh, which is going to be another restricted that it's going to have to contend with uh, Electric Dragon. Uh, it's going to be Zekrom. Now, Zekrom is widely considered to be among the worst restricteds in uh, competitive Pokemon uh, as far as VGC goes, uh, mainly because it's like not fast enough to do what it needs to do. Its speed ties with Kyogre, so Kyogre can just straight up like Ice Beam it and KO it if it has any chip on it. Uh, but it is like really bulky. It's like a decent Assault Vest user. For the most part, it's going to be like uh, just a super offensive Pokemon, though. Like you would tend to see it running like uh, White Herb to get past um, to get past Intimidate. Sometimes you would see like Choice Bandit sets. Sometimes you would see uh, Life Orb sets. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it would run like not Wild Charge, uh, Fusion Bolt. 
it would run like fusion bolt dragon claw um i'm fairly certain i saw a scale shot set once uh, and it does get dragon dance so it's there's a couple of things i could do i would imagine that this guy's actually like a special attacker though it doesn't give off very uh big physical attacker vibes and honestly if we get a special attacking dragon and electric type that might be like the Kyogre answer that we really need. Even though Kyogre's like physical defense is a lot lower than its um, special defense. I believe it's like almost like 50 points lower. Yeah, no, it's like exactly 50 points lower. Um, just being able to, one, reliably outspeed Kyogre, because I assume it's going to be higher than 90 speed. It is a literal motorcycle. Uh, and being able to hit it with a stab electric move that doesn't care about stuff like Intimidate. Like if this thing gets access to like Thunder, like being able to hit Kyogre with a stab of thunder off of what I would assume would be like 150 base special attack is going to be pretty notable. It's it's kind of interesting, but it will be fighting for a spot on restricted teams with like Regieleki and stuff. So uh, it, it's got to also out, outclass those things. And it, it does not facing Groudon, one would assume. However, as a special attacker, it will be able to take on Groudon a lot better than a lot of other uh, Pokemon. So if it gets like you know, Draco Meteor, which almost every dragon type does, I'm pretty sure, uh, or I think straight up every dragon type, then being able to hit it with like a Life Orb Draco Meteor would be pretty substantial damage. So yeah, I mean, that, that'd be interesting. I'm assuming it's going to be like 150 special attack minimum, mainly because if you just look at these Pokemon, their special attack stats or their like main attacking set almost never goes below like 150. So that's a, that's a safe assumption. All right. Next up, uh, we have Pokemon that I have not talked about yet. Armor Rouge. I, you know what? I have to be honest with you guys. I don't like these guys. I really don't like these guys. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of the humanoid Pokemon. You never see. You'll never catch me using like a Lucario on like a team. Uh, Blaziken. I'm not a big fan of. It's mainly when they stand up on two legs and they just straight up look like people. I'm, I'm not too into that. However, this guy's got an interesting move. Um, it's a Fire Ghost type immune to, or is it Fire Ghost? Fire Psychic. Fire Psychic. Sorry. Uh, it's a Fire Psychic type. Uh, and it has a move called uh, Armor Cannon, which it says this uh, is one of the more powerful moves Armor Rouge can learn. So they're straight up saying it's a powerful move, but it lowers its defense and special defense stats in exchange for that power. We've pretty much gotten confirmation that this is probably a fire type special close combat, which is kind of absurd. Um, so for reference, fire moves uh, let's let's go with, like something that learns like every fire move. Uh, I guess a safe assumption would just be like Moltres. Um, or no. Let's go with uh, Incineroar. I'm pretty sure he learns like every fire move. Uh, but yeah. So fire moves, if we go by like power, they, they cap out with like Blast Burn, Overheat, Flare Blitz. And Flare Blitz's main drawback is the fact that um, it has... A lot of recoil 33 percent recoil which is it's it, it's a lot to deal with right um but having a pokemon that's like let's assume this guy's decently fast has a decent special attack stat we basically have a fire type equivalent to flare blitz because close combat is also 120 uh and not making contact with something like ferrothorn specifically is actually really cool this is basically like a ferrothorn one shot button 120 base special or 120 uh base power special attack fire move going into ferrothorn and not making contact is godsend uh so yeah like if you have trouble with ferrothorn one would imagine this would be a good pokemon to have in your team very cool obviously it doesn't like facing incineroar if it doesn't get fighting coverage but it looks like it would get fighting coverage to be honest maybe like aura sphere uh because you know it's armor clad you would think it gets something like that. But yeah, Incineroar absolutely annihilates this Pokemon if it doesn't get fighting coverage. Uh, Sarah Luge, another Pokemon that probably gets annihilated by Incineroar, but this is the Fire Ghost one. Being immune to uh, Fake Out is really huge, and its move is Bitter Blade, Fire Physical move that uh, gathers the lingering... Wait, did the other one say if it was physical or special? Yeah, special. Okay, just making sure. Uh, physical move that gathers lingering regrets of the fallen into Sarah Luge's swords, allowing it to focus that bitterness into a slashing attack, then absorb the life energy from the wounds that they made. Uses HP as restored by half the damage taken by the target. Okay, this is just leech life, which funny enough, they gotta stop giving this Pokemon like every single move. Okay, so 
<laughs> it's a physical fire type leech life, which uh, I would I would imagine it's either 80 or 90 base power. I'd prefer 80 to be honest, but I think 90 might make more sense because this thing doesn't look like it'd be all that bulky. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's like a fast attacker, leech life isn't the best, but it could make like life orb a lot safer to use. Can we talk about how like nice this game looks? This game, oh, what am I doing? I don't know, I didn't know that was a thing I could do. This game looks kind of nice, I just have to point that out. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're like a life orb Pokemon, having the ability to recover pretty much all that life orb recoil after a few turns is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have much else I want to say about this. If it's fast, it's better than Chandelure. One would imagine that it would need to like not get access to Trick Room to make sure Chandelure isn't just straight about classed. Uh, but also being able to... I would imagine it, it might get access like Calm Mind or Nasty Plot, one of those setup moves. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, ghost types, as long as they have some form of coverage, are historically great wall breakers. Uh, take a look at like, well I guess Spectrier isn't the best because it doesn't get coverage, but Spectrier is like a ghost type is one of the best wall breakers we have in the game. So yeah. But this will have to fight with Spectrier for a spot in the team. And one would imagine, uh, since this thing has a physical move, uh, as it's main move uh or as it's like a signature move it would mainly be a physical attacker so uh if it has access to like sacred sword it is able to take on incinerer or not combine sorry swords dance or bulk up i don't I, I was imagining it to be a special attacker because it's like a ghost type but no i, I guess it isn't comparable to chandelure in that way like not at all my bad uh yeah it's better than chandelure as a physical attacker but chandelure is probably a better special attacker anyways Let's move past that huge blunder, uh, and let's get on to some of the Pokemon that I actually really care about. Uh, Satitan. This thing has access to Slush Rush as one of its abilities. Uh, now, obviously Thick Fat is kind of cool because as an Ice type, resisting fire moves, or not resisting, but taking neutral from fire moves is kind of cool, and uh, times four resisting ice moves is okay, I guess. But uh, this thing is pretty obviously a physical attacker, and it doesn't seem terribly fast. Now, historically, if we take a look at Pokemon with Slush Rush, they are not fast Pokemon. Like the fastest Slush Rush Pokemon we have is 65 base speed. All this thing needs to do to be a good Slush Rush Pokemon is have Dracovish speed, 75. Give it 75 base speed and it's good. It can do whatever it needs to do. At level 50, I believe Dracovish can, yeah, 127, you outspeed Dragapult uh, with an adamant nature. That's all you need, right? That's straight up it. That's all you need for this thing to be good. I guess giving it access to like Swords Dance would also be pretty cool. Uh, and maybe if it gets some kind of like, I don't know, imagine if we, I, I get that like um, Icicle Crash is kind of like single target Rock Slide for uh, for Ice types, but I don't know, maybe if it gets something else, you know, like a like a like like an actual Ice type Rock Slide, it could be a pretty devastating Pokemon. Once again, loses to Incineroar, but yeah, no, I, honestly, I really like this Pokemon. I hope it's good. It needs 75 base speed, 70 minimum, honestly, 70 minimum, and I think we're good. Does that still outspeed? Hold on, let me check. Scroll faster, mouse. Scroll faster, there we go. 70 base speed. Hi, Samurai, haven't looked at you in a while. All right, 50. One, yeah, okay. It outspeeds Dragapult, that's it. <laughs> that's like the speed tier you need to hit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I like him, I think he's cool. Cyclozar is interesting. I think I briefly talked about this guy once, but it is a uh, dragon normal type, so Drampa vibes. Uh, it's gonna be immune to ghost moves, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's actually, like normal typing is more of a buff to anything that gets it than a weakness, but being weak to fighting moves obviously isn't that great. Uh, but yeah, it says it runs 70 miles per hour. Let's hope that this isn't another Vikavolt situation where they say it's fast and then it just straight up isn't. If this thing is actually fast, and it does get shed tail uh, as like it just or sorry and it and it gets shed tail which we know it does I don't know why I was questioning that um, you could max out this thing's HP and then go for shed tail and then switch it out obviously it's like automatic and get in something like if this thing has like 80 base HP that's a decent substitute if it has like 100 base HP that's a really good substitute Pokemon could absolutely make this thing broken if its HP is 100 and its speed stat is good. Uh, because it's mainly going to be a Shed Tail Pokemon. Obviously, offensively, we have no no idea how good it's going to be, but this thing doesn't look too offensively threatening. I would imagine like 100 base attack, but if it had like 120 base speed, 100 base HP, that'd be insane. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, you'd be able to send in things like... Um, I think Azumarill would actually be a pretty interesting partner for it. This thing being weak to dragon and fighting moves uh, and being able to 
basically send in a Pokemon with its substitute that resists or is completely immune to both of its weaknesses, and then Belly Drum up with it is kind of absurd. Actually, that might be a thing that happens. Oh my god, wait, no, that's actually busted. That That's actually straight up busted. I kind of want that to be a thing. I kind of don't now, actually. All right, look, I never talked about that Pokemon. Let's pretend that didn't exist. Fido, pure fairy type. There is absolutely nothing I could say about this Pokemon. It's cute. Um, I have no idea how good it's going to be because we need to see its evolution. Grafifi is a different situation. We're pretty sure this is the full evolution. Um, and it's a poison and normal type. So a poison type that's immune to ghost moves and is neutral versus fighting moves. Not that bad. It needs a decent speed tier, I think, to be good. This thing doesn't look very bulky at all. Uh, but if we have like a fast poison type, that's actually pretty uh, novel because poison types are historically not that fast. We only have a few of them that are like really good. Um, Crobat, kind of, it's more of a support mon. Scolipede is pretty middle. Salazzle's pretty mid. It's it's like Gengar and Nihiligo that carry the poison typing for the most part in current formats. And also Naganadel. Naganadel is a bit of an exception though because <laughs> it's like a legendary mon technically. And yeah, Nihiligo too. But uh, yeah, if this thing is somewhat decent and we have like for once a physical poison mon that's really fast uh it could be interesting scolipede i guess is that but it has like way too many weaknesses so i'd rather have like a poison normal type than like a poison bug type just for pure weaknesses you know uh but obviously you know coverage is a big deal if this thing gets like swords dance and it's decently fast that, that could be a thing i don't think it's gonna be that great of a pokemon in like vgc uh unless it gets fake out fake out could be pretty interesting being able to fake out a pokemon that's like weak to poison moves that i guess doesn't want to get faked out i'm trying to think like what what would that pokemon be tapu koko i guess if you could fake out tapu koko and then poison jab it would be pretty interesting but yeah do we have any uh poison fake out mods i don't think we do i'm probably like missing one entirely Oh, we do. Yeah, Toxicroak and Salazzle, but yeah, they're, they're pretty mid. Cloth. Now, this is one that I definitely should have talked about on release. This thing has one of the most interesting abilities ever. Uh, it's a pure rock type, and it doesn't seem terribly fast, but one would imagine that that's the point. Uh, it's probably going to have like a very middling speed tier, but its ability is Anger Shell, right? Cloth's ability... Uh, is making its first appearance in the Pokemon series. When Cloth's HP drops to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry. This lowers its defense, special defense, uh, but boosts its attack, special attack, and speed stats. So we see Cloth's attack rose, Cloth's special attack rose, Cloth's speed rose, Cloth's defense fell, Cloth's special defense fell. Uh, I think this is like half of a shell smash. It's not like a full shell smash, it's half of one. Because we would see sharply rose or like sharply dropped. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's take a look at like a, sh a shell smash Pokemon. Shell Smash, um, Poltegeist, sure. So Poltegeist is a very decent Shell Smash Pokemon um, because, how do I say it? it? It has like a decent speed set to begin with. However, Cloth is gonna be a different case. Um, let me see something real quick. Okay, when Cloth's HP drops to half or less, not that it gets targeted and it drops to half or less like Berserk, because Berserk requires you to get hit and then have it drop. It can't just be like, it drops. So this one is saying that it just has to drop. So let's say that like we have a, I guess Crustle is a good example. Crustle is like an okay Shell Smash Pokemon at base 45 speed, but because this is only like half of a Shell Smash, I would imagine that if we're using a Cloth, something like a Salak Berry would be pretty interesting. And you could go for like a substitute Shell Smash set uh, if it just like straight up gets it, that'd be absurd is my point. <laughs> so like you could, if this thing does get shell smash, right? If you, you could either a substitute up and let the shell smash happen via the ability, let the anger shell do it. But if you can substitute up, have that sub bring you to like half health and then like the next turn you shell smash and then get like the second shell smash, that'd be absurd. Like that, that'd be kind of crazy because of like the substitute, you know, um, but yeah, it depends on how, how high this thing's speed stat is. Pure Rock isn't the best. Obviously, you want like some kind of like stab coverage, uh, I would imagine. I thought it was going to be like half bug or half water at first, but I don't know. Maybe Pure Rock is for the best for this guy. Um, yeah, it, it would need Rock Slide and it has to be like decently fast to be good in VGC. Obviously, base 45 probably isn't enough uh, because 
if you're only getting plus one and you max out it, like let's say you're a jolly Pokemon, 106 times 1.5, that's uh, 53, so that is uh, 159 base speed, or 159 speed. You're not outspeeding a lot, like I'm pretty sure Kyogre is coming pretty close to outspeeding you without like any investment, or without like any uh, multipliers. Yeah, 156, like you're only three points faster than base 90 Pokemon, so like you're you're outspeeding base 93. Uh, so yeah, not, not the best. It, it needs some kind of decent speed stat. I would say like 60 is like as low as I think is acceptable for this guy. Lechonk, I don't know if there's much I can say about this. Aromavale Gluttony, if it gets Belly Drum or if it like gets Stockpile or some kind of like bulk up set where you could like run a Figgy Berry and get, you know, all of your, almost all your health back at half health that'd be pretty cool aroma veil is interesting i'm pretty sure what is which one's aroma veil is that one taunt yeah aroma veil blocks taunt that could be interesting depending on like the evolution there's not much we can say about it now though for now a pure normal type i would imagine it becomes like half ground type paldean whooper is interesting um it is a poison and ground type with an immunity to water with water absorb one would imagine that'd be the best ability for it because it gets rid of a weakness, leaving you with just the, uh, let me think, I think it just leaves you with Ice and Ground and Psychic. So that, those aren't the worst weaknesses to have. Ice, Ground, Psychic. Obviously Ice and Ground aren't that great, but, you know, Psychic is kind of alright. Um, it depends on how it evolves. One would imagine it'd be pretty bulky, but being able to regain health from water moves is kind of cool. Uh, not being a water type and still having water absorb is actually really great because, you could go for something like a, like a Surf Pokemon next to it uh, and not be doubling down on water types to have that immunity to it. Uh, so that'd be kind of interesting. Not much we can say about it now. It, it really depends on the evolution, but uh, future is looking kind of bright for Paldean Wooper. Palmy, Pure Electric, not much we can say. Static, Natural Cure. I, I don't have anything I want, I want to say about it, really. It's kind of cool. Nothing to say about Small Live, absolutely nothing. And Wiglet is interesting. I actually made a short about this, but I guess I can talk about it here too. Uh, Wiglet's viability depends heavily <laughs> on its hidden ability, in my opinion, and its stats, uh, which I guess is, you know, true for any Pokemon, but um, it's based on convergent evolution. It's not uh, divergent evolution like Diglett and Alolan Diglett, or Dugtrio and Alolan Dugtrio. Um, it, it's, it's different, right? So we're Dugtrio and Alolan Dugtrio share a common ancestor, uh, Diglett and Wiglet share no common ancestor and evolved through similar environmental pressures to become a similar form factor. So yeah, basic, uh, basic layman's biology for you. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a water type. I think in order for this thing to be good, one of two things has to happen. It either has to be, it either has to evolve into a decently fast special attacker or a very fast physical attacker uh it is pure water type so being pure water type it has a lot of competition right like look at all these water types look at all the look at the speed of water types it's competing with intellion greninja barrascuta floatzel starmie keldeo sharpedo i guess a lot of these are kind of bad but urshu rapid strike that's another good one <laughs> there's a lot of fast water types that you could use so Having Gooey and Rattled isn't, uh, it isn't making me too optimistic for it. I would kind of hope that having Convergent Evolution would mean maybe it gets like Arena Trap. An Arena Trap water type would be kind of absurd. So imagine you're facing off versus, let's go with Inteleon. If it has like Inteleon stats, it's going to be fine. Even if it's like 100 base special attack and 120 speed, if it has the ability to trap things in, that's kind of crazy. Incineroar has two options. It can either Parting Shot or basically get one shot. Uh, that's that's like a huge thing for it um, other ground type Pokemon like I guess Landris wouldn't get affected because it's flying but uh, other ground mons uh, let's say you're playing a restricted format and you have like a Groudon on the field this thing being a water type that traps in Groudon is kind of crazy so yeah I mean like it, it depends right I would really hope it gets arena trap but even if it doesn't uh, these two abilities aren't that great if, if it gets Gooey, maybe it'll become like a really bulky Pokemon like Gudra. Gooey's kind of interesting, right? Gooey um, slows things down if they hit it. <laughs> so if it's bulky, it can make use of that. But if it's like a just like a plain frail special attacker, it's it's not going to be that great of an ability. It, it really depends. I don't know. That's really all I have to say. 
if you guys uh, have any thoughts on these Pokemon, obviously kind of comment them down below. I know I'm late to the party with giving my thoughts on everything, but I wanted to do it all at once. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like in the video. Let me know your thoughts on these Pokemon down below in the comments, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.